Tony Hawk's Underground 2 without jumping. Yes, I beat a Tony Hawk game without <sighs> jumping. In the Tony Hawk games, jumping is really crucial. So not being able to jump at all is pretty difficult. The way I did this is by unbounding my X button so that I could not jump at all. I cannot press X. I'm trying to, you see that at the bottom left, but there's nothing. I can at least select things with start. I don't have to use X on everything. Now here we are with Boston. Now this map is not too difficult as it has a lot of goals that you can do pretty easily. Like finding this dude at the bar, finding George Washington, <laughs> doing the high score challenge, and many others. One of the really annoying things about this challenge is not being able to skip any cutscenes. I mean, nothing at all. I cannot skip anything. So this challenge is a lot more annoying than I thought it would be just because of this one thing. There's two or three spots that I can imagine myself getting stuck at. First, Australia, after I do all the challenges, there's doing the beaver blast at all of the on all of the construction workers, which there's some areas that you'll have to jump to get those. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Maybe New Orleans? The helicopter might be, I don't know if that's doable or not, and also the last mission in Skatopia to beat the game. Those are my three things that I'm I'm scared about doing because I don't know if those are even possible. But yeah, this is my default speed. I cannot go any faster. X does nothing, though there is a way that I can go faster, but that's using speed manuals, and I'm going to try to not use those. It'll make it seem like I might be cheating a little bit. Slow down. I'm already going slow, what do you mean slow down? Goals continue to be pretty easy for this map, but the ones with me setting my board on fire, with doing a combo, and setting the cannons on fire, pretty fun stuff. Ah, uh, let's just watch this building burn. Let's go! Let's go! I love it. Well, isn't there a hip transfer? There we go, yeah, hip transfer, for that, that worked. How many points do I have? 400 and that works? Let's go. Let's go. I boost. Oh! <laughs> I won't be able to do the other part. Holy. Am I just... I think I just... I sheezed all of my stats right there. As I continue to complete the easy goals in Barcelona, I found out that the goals including the bowl can be actually quite annoying. Mainly with me not being able to chase him down and having to wait for him to do his full cycle just to be able to mess with him. Thankfully for me though, this team challenge was actually 100 points so I could go to the next level right after completing this. Please be- yes! <laughs> Let's go. Berlin. Berlin is a really fun level. It's got Polly, it's got the paint guy, it's got the church, it's got the roofs. The goals are also really fun. This map is all around one of my favorite maps in this game. So I was pretty interested in how I was going to be able to complete this map, as there's some that I really cannot do without jumping. After throwing up on some security guards and finding the paint guy, I then was trying to find a way to grind these inlining signs. Let's hope that I don't wall ride. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I, it doesn't matter. It didn't take like a whole minute and a half, two minutes to get there. Okay, that took a while and it's it's stupid, but I got it. And that's another 25 points. This is going to be easy, seeing as I can just do manuals and it actually works really well. I didn't need to do all that, but I wanted to. Okay. I went ahead and tried to do some challenges with Polly, but then I found out that he's really broken. Hello? Why are my tricks not working? What is happening? Why am I not doing anything? He literally cannot do anything at points. I don't know the cause of it, but after some confusion, and I still am confused, I went ahead and completed a lot of his challenges. I'm gonna cheese it because this game is like not letting me use this character like at all so i'm gonna do that and then five of these so i get a thousand yeah five thousand i was doing the team challenge with everybody but for some reason the challenge with the custom skater just does not work i can build up speed oh my god i don't know what? For whatever reason, it was not counting, so I had to find a different challenge to do. 
back to back we get really fun levels. Australia is really easy, but it's fun easy. I know the challenges in this level off the back of my hand, but I had an issue with this map, but and I'll get into that later. I did the acid drop off a roof. I taught a kid how to do a lip trick. I smashed a party. There's a lot of moving parts in this map, and I would say that each goal in this map is really fun. After I was done doing all the normal challenges, my streaming software decided to have a bit of fun. Where's my chat, man? Why is my chat now disappeared? Crashing up to four times, making it really miserable for me and the viewers. Which if you want to experience these annoying endeavors, go check out my Twitch, lol underscore vex. I'm live pretty often now, and maybe you'll be in one of these videos. Here's the challenge that I thought was going to be very difficult, seeing as there's some of the construction workers that are right out in the open. I don't know what I can do, because this guy's right in the open. This is not gonna go well i i did left right <sighs> no dude oh my god oh! <laughs> After abusing and setting fire to the construction workers, now was time for the second to last level, New Orleans. Not gonna lie, I did the Australia challenge a lot faster than I thought I was gonna do it, seeing as the construction worker was right out in the open. But thank you, Neversoft, for putting a tall car right where it needed to be. Some of the first goals I tried to do in this map were to spawn the zombies, kill the zombies, then get out of there. But then I found out that I can't jump out of the lava pit. I was mainly doing this one for easy points. Yeah. I'm not able to do that. So I went searching around for other ones. And in doing so, I found out that a lot of these challenges do a lot of points for so little. Okay, that's 50. That is an easy 50. Hitting all three of these signs was 50 points. Why? I don't know. But that's a lot of free points if you ask me. That's 50? Dude, this challenge... Okay, this level is actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. Woo! Yep. Okay. Level's finished. I'm just like so zoned in uh, to not showing any of it because <laughs> I don't want to get in any trouble. Time for New Orleans' final goal. This one took a while to figure out because I would not get enough speed to even clear the roof. By the time that you do your final acid drop, you lose all of your speed going to the other side of the roof. So I had to find a way to somehow keep all of my speed to be able to clear the roof. That's not what I'm trying to do, man. I hate the animation of me pushing a few times because it doesn't allow me to do any tricks in that moment. I don't think I'm able to do that. Maybe if I do that, if I keep my speed by, by going to the side and somehow going in and then I think I might have found it. That challenge took way too long for me to complete, but finally, we're on the last level, Skatetopia. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite map, but it's not terrible when it comes to the goals. A lot of the collectibles and the sprays are pretty easy in this map, and a lot of them are also really fun. But some of the most fun goals in this map are actually with Bigfoot, like manualing up the slope, doing a kickflip over the planters, that one's pretty dumb, some pretty fun stuff. The goal of Shack Attack was not working for me. I thought I was doing it perfectly, just fine. I don't understand, man. I'm not doing that challenge. So I had to move on to different goals. So I settled with doing the spine transfer down the mine, doing the arcade machine, and manually from the, all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. Hello? He is not talking. A lot of these firework goals were not difficult, but there were two hiccups. First, I didn't grind down the tall firework correctly. Really? And second, which... This took me a while, kind of embarrassing looking back at it, but trying to get onto this globe was difficult for me to figure out. But you'll see why it's kind of embarrassing. Or maybe I air from one of these. Ooh, that might be it. <gasps> Is there a way I can like air from one of these wood things or somehow? Dude, what do I do? So that's just a straight, just wall. <gasps> Wait. I'm dumb. Why don't I just do this? Why haven't I thought of this the whole time? You gotta get out of here. Let's take the 
Spiders with us! I can't believe I never thought of that the entire time that I was doing that. This dumb globe took me 20 minutes to realize that I could use the zip line the entire time and make it so much faster. I don't know how this slipped my mind and how I just couldn't think of it. Looking back at it, it's so clear that it's there. I know it's because I did it. I'm stupid. Whatever. We're finally on the last little bit of the game. Why did I, okay, I should probably go for that other dog as well. Wait. So if I grab that dog and air out of that firework dispenser thing. Dude, what is going on? Or not? I'm there. I'm at the exit. I'm so sick of this. This is so stupid. I'm so close, but yet I'm so far. <sighs> yeah, stop talking. I don't care. I'm getting closer. I'm almost at the end. Oh my goodness. I wish I noticed that beforehand, how I have to go ahead and wait for the timer to finish and fail the mission to be able to do that, but it doesn't matter anymore because I, I beat it without jumping, without using ollie, without going off my board and pressing X to be able to actually jump, I'm actually able to beat it without that. And there we go. I beat Tony Hawk's Underground 2 without the X button, without jumping with no way to jump unless I'm holding forward at a wall. But I don't count that, okay? I'm not pressing X. Yeah, this challenge was very fun. I enjoyed it a lot. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video because that shows me that you guys want to see more of this. And who knows, if I get 100 likes on this video, I might do classic mode. We'll have to see if that's possible though. But yeah, that's about it. My name is Vex. Check out my other videos and I'm out. Stay goaded. <laughs>